It's time for Business News with Richard Southern, and let's start with a story that's generating plenty of talk today. Richard, Facebook is pondering a possible name change. Can you believe it? Any idea? What would you change the name to, Erica? Do you have I any idea? Don't, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The Happy Place? Maybe the happy it'll place, change, it's... you know, uh, what it's been doing lately, but yeah. <laughs> Maybe. People were actually joking online. What should we change it to? People were saying maybe Faceplant or <laughs> I can't believe it's not Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, Zuckerstein or what have you. Anyways, uh, you know, those are uh, comical uh, options. Facebook is going to come out with a serious one reportedly. Uh, the online publication The Verge reporting that the social media company is planning to announce a name change as early as next week. Important to note, though, that it's reportedly not the app itself that's changing. Facebook would still be Facebook. It's the parent company that would change its name, much like what we saw with Google, where, you know, you go on Google.com, it's still there, but the parent company's name is Alphabet. Would be kind of the same thing. It would signal Facebook's intention to grow beyond social media into more of a tech conglomerate. Facebook already, of course, owns Instagram and WhatsApp and Oculus and other brands, and a name change would organize those under one um, umbrella. It also comes, as you alluded to, Erica, at a time of uh, some turbulence for the company. A whistleblower recently alleged that Facebook was prioritizing profits ahead of the safety of its users. So we'll right. look for whatever that name change is <laughs> coming. Okay, it's no secret. Everything costs more these days, and that's driving the inflation rate to levels we haven't seen in quite some time, Richard. Yeah, I mean, you and I have talked uh, quite a bit about this lately because it's been, you know, a story that's impacting uh, a lot of people's wallets, uh, Eric. And Stats Canada backed up a lot of that reporting today, informing us that inflation hit an 18-year high in September, 4.4% uh, year on year. You know, every single, almost every single category they looked at went up in price. We're looking at food here. Food was up 3.9%. You know, with beef up 15% over the past year, cooking oil up 27%, uh, price of gasoline up 32%, shelter costs up 4.8%, you name it, it's costing more for a myriad of different reasons. One of the big knock-on effects here, Eric, it could be inflation uh, rates going up by the Bank of Canada. Now, they use that to control inflation, after all. The economist at Scotia Bank today predicting we could see as many as eight interest rate hikes over the next two years. That could cause trouble for Canadians who are a bit stretched financially to the limit right now. All right. And uh, speaking of everything costing more, the holidays are also just around the corner. And that means big business for Canada Post. Sure is, Eric. If you're looking for a little extra work, Maybe you'll take up a job as a as working for Canada Post as a letter carrier. They're looking for people right now. Canada Post says they're looking to hire uh, for seasonal positions in the GTA, in Kitchener, in Ottawa, in Hamilton. They're looking for postal clerks who, you know, sort mail, who operate some of the, the mail processing equipment. Uh, you know, they, they say you got to be able to work nights and weekends and all this, but it pays $21.80 an hour, so not too shabby. No experience required though they say some warehouse experience would be an asset. Wouldn't be a good job for me. I remember a couple of months ago, I had to send a letter. I'm a terrible millennial, so I had to go into the post office, ask the nice lady what I was doing. Can you believe that, Erica? <laughs> I don't Our even know how to send a letter send... anymore. No. My goodness.